remember one of the first times I ever went to a Lego store. Bro, there were Lego sets out the yin yang. There were Lego sets everywhere. There were Lego sets on the wall. There were Lego sets on the floor. There were Lego sets on the ceiling. There were Lego sets in every single direction you looked. Bro, your boy would obviously hit the Star Wars section every single time. I'm talking the good old days, man. I'm talking about Lego clone trooper battle packs. They had rebel packs. They had snow trooper packs. They had all kinds of battle packs. And bro, I would get piped up every single time until I saw the price tag. You know, that's just the way it rolled sometimes. You know, sometimes your boy couldn't get the most expensive sets that there were on the shelves. And I wasn't gonna ask my mom or dad for the most expensive sets at the time because they're just gonna tell me, oh, how about for Christmas? How about for your birthday? I'm like, I'm not gonna wait six months for this. And it's not as if I'm gonna go walk over to one of the biggest, most expensive Lego sets and just grab it and then just walk out as if no one's gonna say anything, right? So I had an alternative. I said, you know what? Let me slide on over to this little build a minifigure section. At most Lego stores, at least the ones that I've been to, these bins were mainly comprised of a bunch of random assorted Lego minifigure pieces. I'm talking heads, legs, torsos, hair, and minifigure accessories. So I was digging through all the bins and I'm like, damn dude, they have a lot of cool pieces in here that I have not seen in sets yet. They have guitars, they have bats, they have helmets. Then I started to think, hmm, you know, this stuff might be a little bit easier for me to steal. Taking one or two Lego pieces are gonna be a whole lot easier. So then I quickly look over at the employees at the counter to make sure that they're not keeping their eyes on your boy. And then I take a quick glance at the greeter at the front door of the store. I take one of the Lego pieces that I liked and then I quickly just put it in my pocket. And then I was like, oh, okay, mom, I'm ready to go. I think I've pretty much looked at everything that there is to see in the store. Uh, let's go get some lunch. As I'm walking out of the store, I am sweating bullets. Play it cool. Play it cool. So then I walk out of that store feeling on top of the world. I'm all, oh my God, I feel like I just got away with murder. Oh, but you guys probably think that I stopped it there. Oh, no, no, no. I started coming up with game plans to start stealing Legos every single time I went to the Lego store. I started this when I was about eight years old, okay? And for some reason, it just stuck to me. And as I got older, I got more wise about it. I got a lot better at it. And I'll tell you guys this, I only stole the pieces that I liked the most. I didn't steal them just to steal them. I said, well, I guess I kind of did, but I stole the pieces that I knew that I liked the most. So I didn't go out of my way to steal pieces that I thought were trash. So then the next time I went to the Lego store, this time I saw that there was one of the employees standing around the uh, Lego minifigure building area, right? So I was all, oh God. So I knew that they were catching on to me because they started asking me all these questions. Hi, so how's your day going today? Nothing. Uh, okay. Well, if you ever need some help, feel free to let me know. So this employee was standing here the whole time, right? So I'm all like, Damn, how am I gonna get away with stealing a Lego piece now? So I took a handful of Lego pieces this time, and then I go, whoops. Oh man, I didn't mean to drop all those pieces. It happens all the time, don't worry about it. And as he started to help me pick up the Lego pieces, as soon as he turned his head the other way, shoved it in my sock. I was like, mmm, they just got played by a 12 year old. You can't learn this shit in junior high. And just as I said, every single time I went, my methods of stealing the Lego pieces got more and more intricate. Dog, let me tell you guys, stealing from Walmart has nothing on this. I've grown since then. I got so efficient at stealing these Lego pieces, at some point, I was gonna take it to the next level like, Good evening shoppers. The mall will be closing in five minutes. But eventually, once I either hit my freshman year or sophomore year in high school, I got out of the game. At some point, I just wasn't really that interested in Legos anymore for some reason. I don't know what it was. I had a little bit of a Lego hiatus, if you will. And uh, I kind of just retired for a little bit. 
I retired from being a criminal. And look, man, I'm not telling you guys to go and steal. I'm not teaching you how to go and steal shit, okay? I'm just telling you guys my story here, so don't be calling the fads on your boy. But man, was I good. And look, man, you guys gotta understand, my whole thing was that, one, I can have Lego pieces that are super cool, that I really like, and two, I started to build some street cred. Do I recommend stealing stuff? Definitely not. But for me, I just wanted the street cred. I was willing to go to jail for these Legos. And if they called the police on me, I was willing to go out with a bang. Hey, cat.